Hey everybody, welcome back to Research and Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm doing a quick hit review of Old Forester's 117 series rum finished bourbon whiskey. Alright, so this is going to be a uh, fresh crack. Uh, Fresh Crack Friday here, but this is going to be a quick hit review. I'm going to get this guy open and um, get it reviewed. Alright, not too bad of a pop there. A little, a little soft. Get it poured. And there we go. Alright, this guy comes in at... Um, 95 proof. This is batch one of the rum finished for the 117 series. So the um, this series has been out for the last couple of years, and um, these bottles are small 375 milliliter bottles, so they're they're pint size bottles, and they go for about sixty dollars these days. Uh, a little bit limited around uh, I think the uh, Louisville and Kentucky area, but. Um, yeah, you can find them online a little bit also. And this rum finished has definitely been the largest release that I have seen so far. Um, uh, yeah, it came out, uh, was released at the distillery, and it was gone, like all the other ones. And that's usually the last I see of them. But um, I've seen this one pop back up um, several times since then. I, I found it at Total Wine. I saw it uh, actually at Costco. I saw it at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival in Barstown, so sitting on the shelf for sale for the crowds there. So, but this this release seems to be fairly large, and like most Old Foresters, it's, uh, it doesn't really have an age statement on it. It just says a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in rum casks. Um, when it was released, I believe the release notes said that it was in those casks for approximately six months, so aged a minimum of four years as a straight bourbon whiskey, and then secondary finished in rum cast for an additional six months, so. All right, on the nose. Really not getting anything that I would jump out at me as telling me this was rum finished. Yeah, there, there are some, some non-normal notes on the nose. It's very uh, fluid. Keeps keeps uh, changing on me. I mean, I've, I've been smelling it here for for just a short bit, but um, I keep getting very sort of faint aromas drift by, and and they're not uh, they're not pronounced, and they don't stay. Thought I smelled uh, some brown butter there for a second. I thought I smelled coconut for a second. But um, I also smelled banana, so. It was fleeting also, but that's a normal brown forming uh, aroma, so. All right, let me go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers. All right, it's, it's very nice. It's. Um, there's definitely some sweetness there. Um, I can attribute that to to a slight rum flavor on that. It, um, it's definitely spicy also. It, only 95 proof. It's definitely uh, punching at 95 proof. It's a good uh, a good peppery spice on that. The um, You can taste a little bit of oak. Uh, has a little bit of oak dryingness there also. Has a little bit of viscosity there, so it's not uh, crazy thin. Uh, not not real viscous or, or thick either, but I see a little bit below medium viscosity. Yeah, pleasant nose. Definitely seem to be getting more of an oak, of an oak presence on it now.
you know, some nice uh, brown sugar, creamy sweetness on that. Uh, definitely some oak on the taste there also. Uh, some some uh, some spice and a nice nice medium finish. So, like I say, it, it does drink a little warm there, but um, not overpowering. And uh, but that lingers too, which is nice. So it's got a nice medium finish. So definitely an interesting pour. Didn't know what to expect out of this. So don't think I really had anything finished in the old Forester series before. So very subtle, but um, but very nice. I guess you don't want to be super rum forward. It's a, it's a nice subtle subtle flavor, but nice. Hope you liked what you saw here. Hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. If you've tried this, if you've tried any of the Old Forester 117 series, uh, they now have uh, at least eight or nine or ten releases out. So um, they've started to repeat a little bit. I know the uh, some of the um, extra old um, 1917s and the High Angel share, I think, have come around for a second time. So it's a, it's a fun little uh, series they've been doing. I've been enjoying it. Uh, these, these are... Uh, Fun to pick up and uh, and fun to drink. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Really appreciate that. Remember, buddy, all bourbon is whiskey, but always he's not bourbon. The best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Cheers.